Well, I made it to Valkenburg and I made it right before the rain, about 10 minutes after I got here and put the bike into storage, it started pouring down raining. The Hotel Valkenburg, uh, they were really nice, let me go ahead and store my bike. Uh, but they went ahead and gave me a free breakfast today, even though I won't be checking in until later. So I'm sort of killing Tom right now. And why not kill Tom by doing a little of uh, this? Today is checkout day from Balkenburg. It's a Sunday. Yesterday was the Gravel Fest bike ride. Did uh, 53 miles, a little over 53 mile uh, course, which was pretty good. But it was raining, misty, cold. Overall though, it was still a fun time. Today they've got the UCI uh, professional type bike race. Yesterday we had over a thousand people. So, but today it's blue skies. I'm gonna take a walk around and look a little bit more at uh, Valkenburg. And it's a small little town, a lot of cafes, restaurants, and things of that nature. I uh, had a couple of good meals here, but today I'll cycle back up to Sittard, uh, stay uh, the evening with Jeff File and his uh, family. And then I'll get up the next morning and either take a train up to Eindhoven or either cycle up to Eindhoven. And every good European city has to have a castle. This is Valkenburg's castle. It's up on a hill overlooking the town. I think the uh, town was actually within the walls of the, uh, of the castle. But I didn't go in. A lot of street cafes here. We'll see some of them in a minute. Last two nights I've had some pretty good meals here, so I've enjoyed Balkenburg. I enjoyed viewing the numerous signs showing the liberation of the town during World War II. And returning to the hotel to check out, I stumbled upon this, the prehistoric flint mines of Valkenburg that are among the oldest archaeological monuments in the Netherlands. With the rock face no longer there, you can see the horizontal tunnel made once the miners dug down. Currently on the bike ride from Valkenburg to Maastricht. It's a short ride of only about seven miles, but then I've got uh, about 12 or 13 miles to get up to Sittard, where I'm staying tonight. Unfortunately, I think I got some hills coming up here real soon. But I'll get a little bit of video of the bike path. And of course, here comes the hills. And since I uh, hit the hills, I'll go ahead and put the camera up so I can focus on uh, pedaling up. More importantly, I need both hands when I'm cycling down. Do not like going downhill with only one hand. What a beautiful day. Just went over the hill. I don't know if you can see the little uh, hills back there. It's countryside. And this is the bike path. It's taking me into Maastricht. just entered Maastricht here. There was a sign there. 
on the outskirts. This is Maastricht behind me. I'm gonna actually be going in this direction. And the city center is probably a mile or two that away. Sunday, busy out here. <laughs> Made it to the uh, city center, or at least this building that I was looking for. Asked another gentleman where the city center was, and he told me it was about 100 meters uh, to my left. But I think that's where I was uh, at earlier. And then the uh, pathways or the uh, walk, uh, pa walking paths, couldn't take the bike through. There were so many people being a Sunday, everyone is out and being a very nice day, uh, everyone is out. It's warm and it's been uh, chilly, at least for uh, this last week. Well, I don't have time to uh, look around any longer. I need to get on the road and get up to Sittard. Tom is running out and I've uh, told the file family I will be there around uh, five o'clock. If I leave now, I should make it. With rain in the forecast, I decided to skip Eindhoven and just take the train back to Amsterdam. Thank you. And today was the day I decided to do one of the must-dos in Amsterdam. Take a canal cruise. There are many cruises offered within the city and many different routes, but all are a great way to sit back, relax, and just take in the sights of the city.
Just walking around the streets of Amsterdam now. Seeing what's around here. This is actually a large one. It's a two-seater. I saw one the other day that was a one-seater. And for the men, you've got some outside public urinals because this place will get busy tonight with all the bars and the red light district is uh, just on the other side here. But there's a urinal. Trying to get to the main street here. cut through an alley. In my next video, I spend my last day in the Netherlands back on my bike, and I make it to the beach. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and tell a friend. And I always enjoy reading your comments.